Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If Tina can keep her tongue in her mouth, we're going to go on and plant broccoli today. But we're going to show you a couple of different ways to plant it. And uh, we've got a pretty fun video in store, I guess. But we already got it in the ground. So let's go back. We'll take a look at that footage and uh, see how you plant broccoli. Alrighty guys, we're back out here at the raised bed garden. And uh, Tina's getting ready to put her broccoli in. Say hi. Hello. More dirt. More dirt. <laughs> but we've got 36 broccoli plants to plant. We're going to put them in that center box and that one right there. So we got the weeds and any leaves brushed out of them earlier. And we're going to get our broccoli plants put in here. So what we're going to do is she's going to start digging. She'll space out her plants. Um, each one of these beds has a center divider in it so we're gonna put nine to each section each section will be uh, that half of the box she's working in there will be 40 by 40 inches so you can kind of tell by the hole she's digging the that's where we're gonna plant them we're gonna be showing you guys a different kind of method of planting we call it Gaia planting Gaia is an old world for word for uh, um, earth and we're going to be using the earth as our pots so what she'll do she's got her cart we've got some super soil back there in the cart but you can do this when you've got bad soil if you've got bad soil is just dig a hole in any kind of dirt clay rocky anything but dig a hole make your own soil and uh, backfill the hole with it the nutrients from that good soil will seep out into the bad soil too but rather than uh, just fill these whole beds up, you know, or top them again with super soil this year, you can save or stretch your super soil a little bit further by just uh, going ahead and digging some holes and just using a couple handfuls for each plant. You'll be surprised, um, you know, how far it'll go. You actually, you don't have to, if you don't have super soil or you don't want to mix up a whole batch, you can use any kind of gardening soil to do this. And, uh, you know, like a two cubic foot bale would plant, I don't know, half of these raised beds, just a couple handfuls at a time. But we've got our super soil mix. We're going to use that for our broccoli. And we're just going to keep going along like this. And uh, I'll bring you back when we get just a little bit further. All right, guys, we'll jump back in here a little bit. I want to talk a little bit about the broccoli. What are we, uh, what type are we planting tea? Lieutenant. These are Lieutenant Broccoli. These are the time that we usually plant in the spring. If you've seen us plant fall broccoli, we usually plant the Green Magic. But the Lieutenant does really well for us in the spring. So we can crowd these just a little bit. We've got good soil. That's a, one of the things we can do. And then a, another thing you can do with broccoli is you can clip off some of the big lower leaves when they start to get close to each other. That's You can do that with most plants. Um, Squash in particular, a lot of people get flooded out by the big umbrella leaves on squash. The plant absolutely does not need those. We cut them off year after year. So uh, we'll show you that when we get to the squash planting. But these brassicas here, they can, uh, they can go in early. They can take a pretty good frost. They've got a, a lot of phosphorus in the super soil. And uh, phosphorus acts like a natural antifreeze for most plants. But broccoli can take a pretty good beating anyway. So... What do you think, T? Look like good plants? Yeah, and dirt. And dirt? Look like good dirt? Yeah. You're not happy unless you're dirty, huh? Yep. <laughs> well, guys, we're just going to follow along here. We'll, uh, we'll come back when we're a little bit further, but right now Tina's planting broccoli, and I'm going to go play with the FedEx guy who just pulled in the driveway. Alrighty guys, Tina was just saying she's uh, got some green in her garden. What do you think, uh, T? There's happy plants in my garden. There's happy plants in your garden? Yeah. And that makes you happy. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, the, the broccoli is really nice. It's a we like growing it because we can freeze it and use it all through the year, and we go through a lot of broccoli. So, because <laughs> it's so good for you. Because it's good for you. Yeah. Yep. 
Um, if you're going to do any additional soil additives, people have asked me how we, what we change in the super soil when we change from plant to plant. I got that question yesterday. But um, the only thing that we'll do extra for the broccoli is we're going to throw a little bit of extra fertilizer on it and uh, just to enrich the bed overall. And then later in the weekly feedings, we use the same fertilizer for the weekly feedings. Um, we have used water-soluble tomato food, but we like the jobs a lot better. But the only thing that you would do in addition for broccoli is possibly add more boron. Broccoli is a high boron plant. Um, you can use a lot of it, but that's about the only thing we would add. And the easiest way to spread boron, since you use very little of it, probably only a maybe a half of a teaspoon to a two-gallon watering can. And that's, like I say, that's the best way to... Uh, disperse it is uh, to dissolve it in water and then put it on if you try to sprinkle it on it gets kind of hard to get it even but what do you think T you like the broccoli yes or that if the cab if the cabbage worms don't eat you up <laughs> remind everybody to save their to save their yeah save the things for planting yeah because you can restart more plants at home in those yeah we'll restart a whole new crop of plants in those it, Tina likes to save everything. She has a whole collection of black planting pots and stuff. Last year we had a, about this many broccoli plants in and we had a really, really hard freeze come in. And uh, Tina wasn't scared at all. She went over and grabbed her black pot collection. And they and, worked perfect. And <laughs> every single plant had its own individual pot. <laughs> so she covered them up and they made it through the freeze. But guys, these will make it through a pretty good freeze anyway. Like I said, they're, uh, the Lieutenant is, is excellent for early spring planting. Kind of show you around here while Tina gets maneuvered. Need a little room. Need a little room. But not a real hard job plugging them in. Just digging a little hand felt holes. We got her, she's working in really, really soft soil, so it's not a, not a real chore. But uh, you like planting broccoli? Yes. I did. Let's see, we should probably tell them how to keep the cabbage worms out, you think? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, what we do with ours, and anybody who is wholly organic would probably want to uh, shut the video off now because you won't want to hear this, but uh, we use the 7 liquid concentrate in a sprayer, a two-gallon sprayer. We will use that on to keep the cabbage worms off until the broccoli starts to form heads, but uh, you don't want to spray that that seven on on there once you got down to the edibles so when it once it gets starts to form heads we'll switch over and uh what's the stuff we put on them then BT. the bt we will uh switch over and use bt in the sprayer and uh, it's good for killing any kind of leaf eating worm and it works really good yeah it works really good and it is considered organic for organic farming but the seven spray is not and we only use it until the plants start producing edibles. But we'll probably cover more of that in some of our uh, plant care videos. But right now we're just planting. We're not going to be spraying them. The cabbage worms haven't even woke up yet. So we'll get the rest of these in and then we'll be back to talk to you. Alright guys, 
the last thing we have to do is get the fertilizer on here again we're going to be using the Job's vegetable and tomato let's see it looks like let's see if we can zoom in on Tina there you go that's what it looks like you can find it at any of the big box stores but we're not really going to measure it Tina's become an expert in handfuls we don't know how much that is but you're welcome to follow along and see how much she sprinkles she's just going to probably throw a handful down between the rows there but yeah that's all we'll really do the super soil is enough to kick them off the bone meal and the blood meal are pretty fast acting the fertilizer will take a little while to work its way into the soil so we just put it on top we don't stir it in it'll get too deep for the roots fast enough anyway with all the rain and stuff so might as well start with it on top but we've also found out that the birds don't like it they'll pick it up and then they'll spit it out and uh, that helps encourage them to stay away from our broccoli so if you have a lot of trouble with birds around them you can always uh stick forks in plastic forks with the tines up and uh, birds are real fine to landing on forks but that'll help run them out of there but this is about all we had to do plant broccoli is not real complex but it is good to eat so we got 36 broccoli plants in here there's a nine to a section or 18 to a box and that'll hold us for spring broccoli but we'll come back in the fall we'll show you we start those seeds those from seed and uh, we'll show you that process too but for plugging in broccoli it's a pretty easy spring job and you got some green in your garden for it too yes yes, <laughs> yes. you running off with your cart yes. <laughs> we'll see you <laughs> all right guys we're gonna go ahead and get out of here we had a fun time planting the broccoli and we appreciate you guys spending your time with us i think that's about all we got for today but if you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button and uh, leave us a comment down below. Or if you have any questions about how we do it, then uh, leave them down there in the comments. We'll get to them eventually. We usually try to answer all the questions and comments. But if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Down next to the subscribe button is a bell. If you'll ring that bell, that'll send you a notification whenever we release a new video. And guys, that's a great way to keep up with the channel and a great way to keep up with the gardening series. So... Like I said, we appreciate you spending time with us, and uh, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Is it off? I don't know. Are they still in there? They might still be watching. No, got right there. I swear, right there. There's somebody. Somebody's watching us? Yeah. They're still out there. Can you see them? Yeah. Wow. That's weird. Can you guys still see us? I thought we were invisible. We're not invisible? No, I guess not. Oh, crap. <laughs>